guys. Hi. Hey, Clark, why are you wearing sunglasses? Yeah, uh, did you forget to take them off or? Um, I mean, you look cool. That's what I meant to say. So, so I've been thinking of, uh, of expanding my talents, you know, and maybe going big. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to make millions of dollars. You know what I mean? God gave me this really cool talent. So, so did you, did you ladies know that I could sing? I didn't. That sounds fun. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that either, but I love to sing too. I, uh, Okay, I'm not that great. Like, sadly, I'm not as good as like Allie or Sophia. Those girls can sing. Yeah, it's it's a fun gift I have. I I might open my own recording studio. I'm thinking I I, I sing all the time and and all over too. Kind of like you, Holly. I I sing in the car and I sing in the shower. I on my way home to work. On I when I walk with the dog in the park uh, by myself. And wait, 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 wait. wait. Did you, did you say by yourself? You sing by yourself? Uh, um, okay. You do all that by yourself? You know, the, the truth is I'm, I'm only good when I'm by myself. You know, I have all the confidence in the world, you know, when I'm doing it by myself. But when I'm around others, I, I, I kind of freeze. You know, I can't do it. Maybe, maybe I should just stick to DJing, you know, like scratching it, scratching the record. Clark, you... You've always got confidence. You do so well in front of the growth kids. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, that, that's because they're so cool. You know, none of them judge me or, or laugh at me or anything. Why do you, why do you think that others are going to laugh at you? I, I, I don't know. What if, what if I'm not as good as I think I am? Well, guys, let's watch today's video. You know, this month we're going to talk about confidence. And I think the video talks about that. Yeah. And you guys already know this, Clark. You especially, confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Well, okay. If you guys think that, you know, the video might help. Yeah. All right, let's watch it. Yeah, let's okay. watch it. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 21. As Jesus began to travel and teach and perform miracles, People started asking, Who is this man? One of these people was a man named Nicodemus. He had been born a Jew. Well, yes, we are God's chosen people. Not only that, but Nicodemus was also a Pharisee, an important religious leader, and he was a member of the Sanhedrin, which was the Jewish high court. After careful consideration, I find that you have disobeyed God's law. And to top it off, Nicodemus was one of the leading teachers of Old Testament scriptures. You must never work on the Sabbath. Uh, would you like to hear me recite the other 612 laws? So it seemed like if anybody had a direct path to heaven, it was Nicodemus. But even though he tried his best to follow God's rules, he might have sensed something missing as he watched Jesus teach, as he heard about the amazing thing this young rabbi was doing. The other Pharisees, though, did not approve of Jesus. They say he turned jars of water into wine at some backwards wedding. Ugh, peculiar. Uh, I also heard he makes sick people well, just like that. That's less disturbing than driving all the money changers and sellers out of the temple with a whip. Did you hear about that? Nicodemus didn't know what to think. All of these signs. Jesus couldn't do things like this if he weren't from God, right? Nicodemus was so curious, he decided to talk to Jesus himself, but he didn't want the other religious leaders to know what he was doing, so he snuck out in the middle of the night to find Jesus. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Listen closely to what I say. 
No one can see the kingdom of heaven unless they are born again. B born again? How can someone be born another time when they're already old? Nicodemus was trying to imagine what on earth Jesus was trying to say. I mean, Nicodemus had already been born once as a Jew. Didn't that mean he would get into heaven? Surely you can't mean someone would have to go back inside their mother. Pay attention. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. <sighs> Nicodemus's mind raced. Jesus was saying that simply being a Jew wasn't enough, that following the rules couldn't get him to heaven. There was a new way. How can this be? You are Israel's teacher. Don't you understand these things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven. He is the Son of Man. Everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Years later, Jesus' friend John helped to make it clear as he wrote down this amazing conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Okay, there is so much great stuff in this one short verse. I think we better break it down. Let's start right here with God loved. God made us. He loves us more deeply than we can ever imagine. But just like Adam and Eve in the very beginning, each one of us has broken our relationship with God. Every time we lie or disobey a parent or do something we know is wrong, that's called sin, and sin hurts our relationship with God. But God had a plan to make things right. That's why God gave. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. God gave the most incredible gift ever, his own son, Jesus. Jesus lived on earth as a human being, but he lived perfectly. He never sinned, never broke a single one of God's rules. And then he gave up his own life by dying on a cross to rescue us. When Jesus died, he paid the price for our sins, sins that we could never pay for on our own. And because of Jesus, our broken relationship with God is healed. We can be close to him like sons and daughters. Anyone can have that relationship with God, whoever believes. Anybody can believe in Jesus, you, your mom, your dad, your best friend, the new kid at school, the guy who feeds pigeons at the park. Anybody can believe in Jesus because Jesus is a real person. He came to earth about 2,000 years ago. People talked with him and followed him. And like Nicodemus, they watched Jesus do amazing things from making blind people see to feeding thousands of people from one tiny little lunch. And people saw him nailed to a cross until he died. But here's the amazing part. Jesus came back to life and hundreds of people saw that too. Jesus is alive right now. He's living with God in heaven. And we can live with God forever too. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. That's the key. You can have a relationship with God, not just now, but for always. When you believe in Jesus and that he died to pay a price for your sins that you could never pay, God gives life forever with him. And just like Nicodemus discovered, you can't earn this forever life by doing all good things or following all the rules. It's a gift from the creator of the universe who loves you no matter what. Now remember Jesus' friend John who wrote all this down? He adds another thought. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world. He sent his son to save the world through him. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, when you follow Jesus and put your trust in him, you can have confidence in knowing that you're part of this amazing, never-ending story that God is telling. And you'll be able to share that story yourself as you grow in loving God and loving others. So Clark, what did you think? Wow, you know, it's funny because I am so confident in front of the growth kids and by myself. So I guess that means that I'm confident in front of God, right? But I, 
I need to keep seeing myself the way that he sees me. Oh, I couldn't agree more. And that means that you don't have to fear anyone else's opinions or thoughts of you. And that goes the same for Tammy and me. The only thing that really, really matters is what God thinks of us. And you already know that he gave you great talents. Dude. <laughs> hey, Clark, I hope you really pursue that record studio, you know, or whatever your additional dreams are especially if you see God moving you. Hmm. Hmm. I keep thinking about the recording studio, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm cool with just the way that I am, you know? <laughs> hey, can I pray for you and the Grow Kids? <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to praise you and thank you for the talents that you do give us. And Lord, we do get um, shy and insecure about, you know, the confidence that you want to give us. So, Lord, I pray for that confidence that you will just let it be strong and that we will always just be bold. And especially when it comes to sharing your word in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. But amen. speaking of DJs. What do you got for us? Hey guys, here's something. Mic check. One, Let's two, one, it. two. Let's dance. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play. Hope you liked that music. 
And if you're like Pastor Clark and you want to do something fun with music and you want to play it cool, then you're going to love this devotional box. So we said, go get your devotional boxes. You have five seconds, four, three, two, one. And here's our devotional activity. If you like music, just like Pastor Clark does, and you want maybe your own record label one day, inside your boxes are some records you can decorate yourself and hang around your house, put it up on your wall or whatever. Inside the devotional boxes is also a record label that we are going to color and attach. So the label is something really, really fun and unique because it is a special one. It has John 3, 16 on it. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Guys, that is your and my promise if we believe in the one and true God, if we believe in Jesus Christ. So on the back of your colored label, put double-sided tape. That looks like this stuff. It's sticky on both sides. Or if you don't have double-sided tape, it's okay. Get some normal tape like this and roll it around and put it on the back of your label, but I've already got some double-sided tape right here. So I'm going to lay it down and put it straight on my record here. Another hint and trick I did, because we can see some of it on the other side, I colored the backside a little bit blue. So that way it would look fun when we see it on the other side. So now here's our record label and it is ready for us to rock and believe in the one rock, the rock, Jesus Christ. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you come into a class with us full time, we'll all learn in sign language, John 3, 16. I hope to see you there, guys. If not, enjoy your devotionals. Enjoy the lessons. We love you and we miss you so much. Have fun.